Hi and welcome to this video tutorial on how to configure an Oracle Data Guard environment using TrueSight console. Log into your TrueSight console and go to the infrastructure policies under the configuration tab. Next click on create policy. In this screen enter the policy name, the agent host name where this policy will be applied and enable the policy. Next click on add monitoring configuration. Here select the monitoring solution as Oracle Enterprise Database. The monitor profile is Oracle Environment Monitoring and the monitor type is Oracle Data Guard Database. Also from here you have an option to enable logging for the global monitoring setting. Next click on add to provide the environment configuration details. Here enter a unique environment name for monitoring the Oracle Data Guard environment. A container gets created with this environment name which will hold all the Oracle Data Guard instances configured part of this environment. The Oracle Data Guard database monitor type has four sections. The monitor categories, Oracle custom SQL queries and environment settings sections are applicable for all the Oracle Data Guard instances added part of this unique environment. We will start with the environment settings configuration first. The environment settings configuration has two sections. From here you can enable logging for this environment and all the Oracle Data Guard instances configured part of this environment. Device mapping consolidates the monitoring at a device level. By default it is enabled and the patrol for Oracle Enterprise Database Data Guard instances hosts appear as a device in the TrueSight console. You can disable this feature to display all the instances and parameters of the KM under the patrol agent device. In the Java collector settings, you would need to provide a path to the Java home. If the Java home is configured part of your patrol agent's default accounts profile, you can leave it with the default value. Else you would need to provide a path to the Java home. Optionally here you can provide any JVM arguments to start the Java collector if needed. The Java OS credentials can be left blank if the patrol default account has execute privileges on the Java binaries. Else, please provide the credentials which has privileges to execute Java and start the Java collector. In the collection settings section, you can specify the availability collection interval, the data collection interval and the long running data collection queries duration in minutes. If any of the data collection queries are taking more than the time specified in here, the KM will cancel the queries execution and those queries will be reported in the long running queries attribute. After configuring the environment settings, please proceed to the Oracle custom SQL queries section. Here please click on add to be able to add a custom SQL query for monitoring for all the data guard instances configured in this environment. In this screen, you would need to provide a name to the SQL query, the custom SQL query in here and from here you can change the collection interval for the SQL query in minutes. You can also select this checkbox to be able to create the query results as an annotation on the number of records metric. But this is only applicable when your query is returning more than one row. Now let's proceed to the monitoring categories section. From here, please select the monitoring categories you would like to monitor. Select this monitoring category to be able to monitor the table spaces. You can also select the filtering mode in here to include or exclude table spaces from being monitored. And based on the filtering criteria, you would need to provide the table space names in here separated by a comma. Select this monitoring category to be able to monitor the Oracle database jobs. Here you can specify the duration in minutes for long running jobs and the overdue jobs. Now let's move to the data guard details section. The data guard details configuration has three sections. In this section, you would need to provide the Oracle connection name for the Oracle Data Guard instances, which is the same for all the instances part of this Oracle Data Guard configuration. And the connection method is always the Oracle SID. In this section, you would need to provide the Oracle SysDBA privilege credentials to be able to connect to the primary and the standby instances. 
Next, please click on Add to proceed with adding the Data Guard instance connection details like the host name and the port number. In this screen, please provide the host name or the IP address for the Oracle Database instance, which is part of the Oracle Data Guard configuration, and the port number to connect to that database. Please select this checkbox if the added instance's intended state is primary. You should select this checkbox only for one instance in the setup. Now we would need to repeat this step for all the instances, those are part of this data guard environment. Now I have added the details for all the database instances part of this data guard environment. Next, please click on OK and OK here to save the policy. To verify the configuration, go to the monitoring tab and click on the devices to see the results of the configured policy. Click on the patrol agent device or the database host device based on the device mapping selection that was used in the policy. Now you can see the hierarchy and the results of the configured policy. The monitoring tree should be complete. Review the Oracle database instance level, instance status and instance configuration status. If the instance doesn't appear or the environment setting has to be updated, please refer to the environment level, configuration status and monitor status at the patrol agent device level. For more details, log on to docs.bmc.com. Thanks for watching.